Hello, welcome back to the woods and welcome back to another simple stick project. And for the first part of this project, all you're going to need tools wise is a pruning saw and your knife. And as far as materials go, apart from your wood, all you're going to need is some 550 cord and a large piece of fabric. In this case, I'm using my Moore's survival scarf. So the first thing I'm going to need is two longish straight poles, probably at least about six foot tall. I'm going to go and get some from in there. There's a whole cluster of sycamore in there uh, and they've all popped up and they're very close together. Most of them will probably die out. A couple of them will probably become the stronger ones. So by taking a couple in there, it doesn't really matter. So I've got my poles cut, I've got one, it's about chest height, and then I've got two, which, well, I'll probably cut them a bit long. They're probably nearer nine foot long than they are six foot long. But I can always trim them down. So with the poles back, the next job I need to do is just lash them together with a bit of cord. Not particularly tightly, just loosely. All I want to do at the moment is work out the rough point where I'm going to lash them. So I've got my two poles all lashed together and I've chosen my tree and it's that one back there. All I want to do now is rest these two poles up against the tree and see if I can form a bit of a tripod. So there it is, all good. The next thing that I'm gonna do is on these uprights, I'm gonna mark two spots at about identical height, and they wanna be about the same height as my waist. So with those down placed together again, all I need to do now is cut two V notches facing upwards up the pole where those two marks are.
So with my love cheese cut there, all I need to do is pop this back up against my tree before I get on with the next part of this project. So with that in place there, I'm going to turn my attention to this, my mini mall scarf. And I'm also going to need another chunk of my paracord. I'm going to open this one up. I'm going to fold it in half. So next, I'm going to take my mini mall survival scarf and I'm going to fold it in two. Like so. This is the fold on this side. This side is the two open ends. Now holding those together, I'm just going to quickly scrunch those up at that end, right so. And then I'm going to twist. I'm going to twist it fairly tight so that I'm forming an almost rope type structure. I'm then going to fold it over like so, and that gives me a loop. And into that, using my paracord, I'm going to tie a little sheet bend. So with this folded in half and tied off at that end, I'm next going to take my pole and slide it into that fold. Like so. So, I've got my scarf, got my length of cord, and I've got my pole. All I'm going to do now is take this length of cord, pass it through the V where the two poles cross <clears throat> and this should sit just like that. All I need to do then is tie this off. So there we go, it's all tied up at the top. I've set it to a height just below where my knee is. I'll give it a little test and then I'm going to put my body weight in it. And there we go, my own super comfy, super quick and easy camp chair. So there you have it. This super easy camp chair is another one of those simple stick projects that you can have a go in. Go at making when you are in camp next. Doesn't take a lot of time, doesn't take a lot in the wear materials and you get a nice comfy chair at the end of it. Now I know what a lot of you are thinking, I thought you said it was a two part one. Well it is. Also you're all wondering what these are for, those little notches on the sides. Well I've got another little project, I've also now got another super little comfy chair that I can use to sit in while I'm making it. If you want to find out more tune in next time. If you enjoyed this video then remember hit that thumbs up button and if you haven't already subscribe to the channel. Down below in the links box you'll find links to all my usual social media, Instagram, Facebook. There's also a link down there to my Etsy shop. Keep an eye on the Etsy shop, there's always plenty of stuff in there. So there is lots going on. Go check out the social media, check out the shop. And if you want to know what the score is with the little crosses up there and the second part of this project, then tune in next time. I think that's everything. I've been Neil, and until next time, stay safe. <laughs>